Hello and welcome to Kitty Treats, the bite size show where we find a small subject for me to sink my teeth in. This is the first video in what I hope will be a series of small semi regular bite size videos, where I will briefly talk about a subject that I think is too small for their own scripted or semi scripted video, but still deserves some attention. I will talk briefly about the subject and give some small thoughts about it. Without further ado, Let's get into the subject of today, right wing figures. In our little sphere of the internet, a lot of people are obsessed with talking about and dunking on certain right wing personalities. Personalities like Jordan Peterson, Ben Shapiro, Alex Jones, Tucker, Tucker Carlson, and I'm probably forgetting like a few hundred of them. Video critiques about these figures are quite popular and often get quite a lot of views and attention. They are also often quite an interesting subject for the Twitch debate crowd, who will probably be getting a kitty treat video of their own at some point. If I was a person that wanted to make tons of views and get a lot of money, then I would be pumping out videos about these figures constantly. However, I don't. And here's why. Truth to be told, I have a bit of an issue with our fixation on these figures. Don't get me wrong. I do think that it, is, that it is important that their narratives are deconstructed, but I really dislike the obsession some people have with DESTROYING THEM. I find that a lot of these videos are made not really with the intention of educating people or offering positive alternatives, but rather to appear strong, smart and powerful. They often perpetuate a certain mindset that I think is quite destructive and goes counter against the message that they are trying to say. Of course, the main reason why these videos are so prevalent are the issues with the way YouTube and the algorithm works. This type of content is popular, so it is not surprising that so many content creators make these type of videos. However, I think that in the long run this type of content will do more harm than good. It falsely informs people that to be a good left-winger you need to be STRONG and POWERFUL and DUNK ON PEOPLE! Something which in my opinion goes against most left-wing ideologies and policies. That is not to say that right-wing pundits should not be criticized for their actions of course. Fascist talking points should be slammed down immediately, but the way that they are taken down now by many people is often done in ways very similar to how the intellectual anti-SJW crowd does it. It is not surprising that a lot of former alt-right people are attracted to this as well. My concern is also that it makes our sphere vulnerable to far-right infiltration and subversion and that certain dog whistles will get rebranded and brandished as quote-unquote good for the working class. Of course, I am extrapolating a bit since I think that in the long run that the impact of our left-wing internet sphere on the real world is quite limited, but it is, as the people say, a bad look. So in general, I would like to see more people come up with alternatives and more constructive content on how to deal with the societal issues in our world. This is the main reason on why I have never made a video on right-wing pundits and also probably why I never will. I think that they are honestly a bit pointless and I don't want to just slam down on right-wingers like that without offering a more constructive alternative. So yeah, that is basically it in a nutshell. Right-wing talking points should be deconstructed but not fought in the way the right fights us. You cannot fight fire with fire after all. That is all for today and I will see you all on the next video.